So this, no, we, were, uh, we, know, we, we never did any advertising, nothing there those days. It, it was just selling by word of mouth because people don't have to charge them. <coughs> I'll, I'll share one more example with you on this. I was just uh, in the morning, uh, I was just sitting in my, in my parents' room and my mom was going for a vacation. She was just you know, packing the bag and uh, she asked uh, my dad, can you give my charger? She was using the same phone and she asked, uh, can you give me the charger? I'm, uh, so my dad said, why do you need a charger? You are only going for seven days. That tells you a behavior of the consumer. I was just sipping my tea and just was you know, looking at the you know, behavior of them. So if you make something which is going to help people in their day to day lives, one way or the other, it's going to work. India has tons and tons of gaps and then that's how we realize that uh, you know, whatever you know, the handsets or is, is been fed into the country are not as per the local flavor and whatever has been cooked into into the uh, into the Denmark factories or Finnish factories or other factories, the, that that was a global food was being cooked. It was not completely as per the Indian flavor, and that's how we decided that we are never going to follow the roadmap of all these companies because mobile phone is not a new industry. If there are three success stories, there are 97 failure stories also. There are all big companies who came in earlier and you know packed their bags and went off. So we decided we are never going to follow the roadmap of all big companies. We are going to make our own roadmap and our you know. Gonna, uh, try and identify the gaps and then make those verticals. That's how our, we, you know, we incubated the first vertical of 30 days uh, battery backup, which was a completely new vertical uh, which we started. We realized that uh, people in the lower uh, income segment are carrying more number of SIM cards than in the higher, you know, in higher income group. Because people earlier used to think that those people who are rich can afford multiple SIM cards, but the truth was those people who were in the lower income bra bracket, they were carrying multiple SIM cards. because. So many carriers, any new plan coming in, these people were not throwing away the, you know, their previous card because incoming was free. So we decided to make uh, the first dual SIM phone on a single baseband at some 2200 rupees and it became again a huge success and a new vertical. And that's how we started you know, uh, identifying these gaps and started moving into the markets. So we came out with, uh, with QWERTY phone, less than uh, 5000 rupees. Uh, and we there we uh, you know the, that time a lot of people said, "Wow, this time you're gonna fail because this looks like uh, this, this is not a BlackBerry. You, you know, you can't get an email on this or something." We said, "This is not a BlackBerry. You know, the India has so many uh, people who are young, and why those? Uh, this is a chat phone. That the so whole positioning was as a chat phone, never as a business phone." And we said, "Why can't people who are young can go on MSN, Yahoo, GTalk? They can go and chat." And still, I, you know, BlackBerry was was a form factor because it was QWERTY, so it was only a form factor. So we said it's only a form factor which we are bringing to the masses and it worked fantastic. Again, a new vertical and you can see so many players jumping uh, you know, onto that particular segment now. We were the first one to create uh, gaming devices which you can make as a Nintendo Wii, you can you know, make use of your phone as a, as a gaming console. So uh, tons of them, you know, for the first lifestyle product, product as Bling. You know, we're in uh, with Sorosky, which we did. So many, uh, you know, women's out here in this country, and uh, there was not even a single phone uh, which was addressing their needs. So uh, again, a huge gap. We addressed that with Bling. It became a fantastic, became a case study. Then, on the music, we, we thought, okay, well, how do we present the music phones? We, you know, we tied up first with MTV, and then moved on to uh, Arian and created that uh, music segment uh, along with MTV. So that's how you know, we moved on and then from selling 10,000 handsets a month, now we sell more than a million handsets every month.